Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to import settings from tracks for mixing in Reaper. Now, the purpose of this video is for when you're mixing multiple song projects where each song has similar tracks that were recorded mostly the same way. And after you finish mixing the first song, you want to import those settings to the second and later songs. So we're not starting from scratch each time. So the project in front of me here, we've just finished mixing. As we can see, there's some drum tracks, a bass track, some guitars, some synths, a lead vocal and a double vocal, and some background vocals. And also down here, I have some effects returns, a few reverbs and some delays, which I also want to import into my next song as I'm sending my tracks to it. And if we take a look in the mixer, we can see we have a bunch of effects on the tracks, a bunch of sends, we have panning, volume, and anything else we use in a mix, including adjusting the polarity or phase on some tracks. Now, if we go to the second song we want to mix, let's go up here to File, and choose New Project tab, and then open up the second song we want to mix, Song B, choose it right here. We can notice the tracks are kind of similar because they were recorded at the same time. Our drums, bass, guitars, and all the vocals. So they're pretty similar from song to song. But the difference in this project is there's no effects or sends set up and no effects returns either. And the pans are all set to the center and the volumes are all set to zero. So no mixing was done in this project. But we want to use the settings from this project, the first one we mixed in it. But before we do that, Let's check out the automation or envelopes I used on this first mixed song. On my kick track, if I type V, we can see this automation written on this track. Notice it's set to about minus eight dB. If we double click and delete these points, it resets to zero, which means if we import this track without the envelope, we're not gonna get the true volume of this track at least as a starting point. And we really don't want to import this envelope into our other songs because every song is going to be different with different automation. We just want the starting volume to work off of. So we need a way to preserve it when we import it into the other songs. Let's undo that. If we go to the mixer, we can see the kick volume is set right here, which is trimming the kick envelope. But if we delete the envelope, it doesn't change the kick volume. So it doesn't send the envelope's level back to the fader. And that's not going to work for our purposes. So instead, let's undo that. Let's close the mixer. Then we'll go to the options menu and go down here to envelope points and turn on the option envelope point selection follows time selection. This is off by default, but if we turn it on, we can now select all these envelope points, except for the first one, like this, from a little past that first point, create a time selection from the beginning to the end that excludes that first envelope point. So now if we delete those points, we don't lose that level, that minus 8 dB. And if we go to our mixer, here's the level right now, which is trimming our envelope at minus 4.67 dB. And if we delete the envelope now or clear it, notice the level changed to reflect what the envelope was doing before and after. So this will be very useful for importing our tracks along with their volume level into other projects. 
So we'll just do that with every track. Just select from the beginning to the end to create a time selection, but exclude that first point. Let's close it, select all the tracks, type V to see all the envelopes, and just select right here, hit delete. It deletes the envelopes, but keeps that first point. And just do that on every track, like this. So now, those envelope points were removed, but it still kept the level that we're starting with on each track. So now if we delete each one of the envelopes, notice the levels are updating as we do this. And now, all the track levels match the envelopes and any trimming we did. So when we import these to song B, they're going to match exactly. Now we want to be careful because we don't want to save this with all the deleting we did. So we should save as a different name. I'm going to call it Project X Mix Start. This way we don't confuse it with the actual finished mix because we made some changes. Save it. Then we're going to select all the tracks. Right click. Save tracks as track template. And give this a name. I'll give it the same name. And notice, we don't need to include the track items or the envelopes, because we already combined those for what we need. Save it. And now, we can go back to song B. Right click, insert track from template, and choose that saved track template. And that imports all those tracks. So now let's make the tracks really small. Let's move this kick down here. And these are the new tracks, and these are the old ones. So now we just have to move this media to these tracks. And I'd recommend locking them first. Right click here, turn on locking, and turn on items prevent left right movement. What that's going to do, if we select our media, if we bring it up to a different track, we can't affect the timing. It's not going to move left or right. So now just select all this media and drag it up to the new tracks, like this. And if they lined up exactly, we should be done. Just select from this kick all the way down and delete them. Let's make it bigger. And make sure all the tracks line up. The kick, snare, overheads, and room, and so on. And if it's a bit different, just move them to match the tracks or duplicate them. But just like that, all those effects that were on the first mix are now on the second mix. The effects, the sends, our pans, the polarity or phase, and of course, the volume. Now there's no envelopes set up, but again, we're starting with the previous songs, envelope and trim level combined. And we also brought in the effects returns, which are being sent to exactly the same way. So that's pretty much it. That's how to import settings from tracks for mixing in Reaper. Hope you learned something. Hope you can use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks.